What's up everybody? It's your boy Meme here. For breakfast I had a breakfast sandwich that my mom made me. I mean that was very good. For lunch I had quinoa salad and for dinner I had a hot pocket and a bagel. Um, nothing's really going on today. Um, I woke up at 5, no I woke up at like 4.52 I think. Um, I don't know what my sister's doing. That's what the background noise is. Um, I woke up, brushed my teeth, washed my face, um, and then I went to work. Um, today is pretty easy. Tomorrow's the 4th of July, so we were just sort of, you know, of course you did work, but it was a little, you know, we weren't optimized and super efficient. You know, we're just doing stuff. Um, we're still trying to get all the rocks out of the sump. Um, so it was, for me, it was primarily just shoveling rock into buckets, and uh, we finished a whole pallet of buckets. Um, I believe, I believe 12 times 3, is that 36? Um, uh, so we, we, we got a whole pallet of buckets finished, um, which is 36 buckets of rock, um, and we put it on a pallet and we put, I think it's called pallet wrap or something around it. Um, I only know it because of the prop in CS2, or I guess CSGO, um, because of the prop in CSGO where it's all the money and it had like pallet wrap around it. That's what that was, um, and I interacted with it. It's basically just saran wrap, but it makes it so then stuff can't like fall over off the side of the pallet. Um, and yeah, so I think we're gonna have another pallet, maybe, um, and that's gonna be it. My teeth look really white. Wow, best teeth in the game. Wow, that's really weird. Huh. I bet they don't look like, I, I guess I just don't look at my teeth very often on this webcam. Uh, anyway. Um, yeah, so I came home, kind of lazy, you know, walked a couple miles on the treadmill, took a shower. Um, the reason why I said I was lazy is because it's already 6.30 and I should be laying in bed by now, you know. Um, but you know, what can you do? Uh, tomorrow I'm going to a 4th of July. Oh, when I got home, um, I was, for the past few days I've been running into this really weird issue when I tried to SSH in my Minecraft server. Um, it was fine because my Minecraft server was backing up, it was like working, you could connect to it, but I just couldn't access it, and that was fine, like, I, you know, I, it wasn't absolutely vital that I updated it, because uh, I had already updated it against the um, SSH vulnerability, so it wasn't that much of an issue. But, um, uh, you know, I kept trying to get into it, and I looked up the bug, and it looked like it was a firewall thing, and I just implemented a firewall into the server, and I was like, well, okay, it's probably a firewall issue. Um, so I tried, you know, doing that. I tried, um, adding the port I was SSHing. Originally, I had added, um, everything in the sort of, um, the, the, everything in the network ID portion of the, of our local IP network. Um, we, we, we I, uh, added 10.0.0.0 through 255, um, to the okay, okay to access, um, part of the firewall. Um, and I was like, oh, well, it should, I should be able to access it no matter what port I'm accessing it on. And I'm accessing it on, like, a different port than port 22 because that's just good for security. Um, because the default port 22, and so whenever attackers are trying to get into your server through some sort of SSH vulnerability, uh, they're always going to try and get it through 22, but just security through obscurity, in a very minor sense, just change the port they are SSHing into. It makes the command a little longer, but, um, if you have terminal autocomplete, it's not really that much of an issue. Anyway, um... So I was like, well, it's weird that I've added um, the entire address range to uh, the allow list on my firewall on my server, um, but I'm gonna change, I'm also gonna add uh, just broadly the port for SSH. Um, I mean, I'm not really port forwarding it or anything, so it's not gonna be that much of a security hole. Um, and so I did it and it, I was still having that issue. I was like, that's really weird. Um, and turns out all I had to do was just restart SSH on the server, like the SSH daemon. Um, and that was really weird. I, it had nothing to do with the firewall, um, and I just thought that was really strange because I had just implemented a firewall and then the issue came up. Um, but I think that that's just me thinking that that was it. I, like, I think that that's just a bias because I implemented the firewall and then an issue showed up. I just sort of associated the two in my head when I shouldn't have. <clears throat> um, I should have sort of just real like... <clears throat> When troubleshooting issues, you've got to remove yourself from all your biases. You've got to realize that, like, despite how it may seem, like, despite how however many hunches you might have about what the issue is, it's legitimately random. Um, and frankly, it's easier to restart the SSH daemon than to add another port to your 
uh, ACL for your firewall. Um, so, you know, always go for the easiest stuff first. And it's, it's, it's easy to not go for the easiest stuff first. Um, so just, just be sure to do that. And that's something I was thinking about. Uh, anyway, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to a 4th of July party. Um, so that's going to be cool. Um, I don't know. It's the first 4th of July party I've been to. I, I'm sure it'll be like any other party. Um, the only thing that sucks is that it's going to be at my friend's house who has a dog or a cat or something. There's some sort of creature at his house. Um, and that always sucks because whenever I... Um, oh, that's why my sister asked if I was done in the kitchen because she's cleaning it. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so it always sucks going to a friend's house who has a cat or a dog because I'm allergic to those. Uh, so I go up there, I'm allergic. I have to bring a Ziploc bag full of pills <laughs> and I look like a, a tweaker um, when really it's just Claritin, right? But I, I look like a crazy person. Uh, but I have to bring a Ziploc bag full of Claritin and I'm just, I'm just, you know, uh, swallowing Claritin throughout the, throughout the night. Uh, and then I get home and then I have to go immediately downstairs and strip all of my clothes off because I need to quarantine them. And then I immediately take a shower. So then when I get into bed, the allergens don't carry me into bed. And then I, I just get allergies until I, uh, I wash my sheets next and then that sucks. And then they're like around and it's a whole thing. <clears throat> um, I don't care about that enough to not go to the party, um, but it's it's like uh, the, 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 the strength, the, the uh, intention strength of wanting to go to the party is like at 100 and the, uh, the, oh, I guess it's a, I guess it's a 99. Um, yeah, okay, it's like a 99, uh, and the want to not do that is like a 98. Frankly, if I am having a bad day that day, I'm not going to go to the party. Sorry. Um, I, I just don't, don't want to deal with that that night. Um, but um, I, I, I presume that I'm going to be able to go to the party. I'm just sort of saying things. Um, but yeah, yeah, nothing else is really going on. I'm just doing my thing. And uh, yeah, I hope everybody has a wonderful day.